Well, good morning. It's me again, and it's a somewhat cooler morning. Um, yesterday and the day before were really outrageously hot. Um, you'd think I would like hot weather, and I do, except that it gets so humid here. Um, when I used to live in Australia, it used to get very much hotter, but it was a dry heat. And the only time I remember being seriously affected by heat was when we had a heat wave in the early 70s where the temperature got up to about 120. Um, which I know for some people in the deserts in um, in where America, that's what I meant to say. Um, why anybody would want to live in a desert, I've no idea. But anyway, I know it gets quite a bit hotter there. Um, I'm wearing my t-shirt that it just really tickles me. Whoops. I like it very much. Can we see? There's Donald Duck and he is clearly not in a good mood. I bought this in Paris when we were there in the Disney shop and I have to say I won't forget the young woman that served me. She was ever so nice and very positive. We had a little bit of a chat um, she was from Senegal and she spoke five languages. Can you imagine that? She was only 20 something. And um, I was really impressed. I mean, I have a bloody Spanish mother, or had a Spanish mother, and I only speak friggin' English. I get embarrassed when I go abroad sometimes because most of them speak English. Well, I have to say, only in northern Germany, in Italy and Spain, they don't. Um, we drove to Italy once, um, in 2003 I believe it was, um, when we were doing our road trip in France, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, I was ill then, but was still stubbornly ignoring the fact. Um, but anyway, that's all beside the point. That was an amazing trip. We experienced a hurricane in the Alps, which was very scary. Um, I'm not kidding, there were these big green wheelie bins flowing about all over, the, flying about all over the place. And we managed to get back to our hotel, but we were driving along the avenues with trees coming down all around us. And f thankfully, my car never got hit. Although I collapsed once we got in the hotel, you know, clutching my chest and they wanted to call an ambulance because they thought I was having a heart attack and John was ex trying to explain to them, no, he's not. Um, but as neither of us really knew what this was, I mean, I now know that it's because um, T6, 7 and 8 in my spine are fucked. So, um, I mean, not working very well. And um, that causes me terrible spasms in my rib cage called intercostal spasms. Um, anyway, I've gone way off track about what I was talking about, which is fairly normal for me. Um, yes, this very nice young girl in Senegal. No, she wasn't in Senegal. She was in the Disney shop in Paris on the Champs Elysees. And um, anyway, she was really quite lovely. Now, in a lot of places in France, the minute I wheeled myself in, they were like fleas round a honeypot. No, it's flies round a honeypot. No, it's bees round a honeypot, or flies, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. And, which I find slightly embarrassing, because you don't queue there. As soon as you join a queue in a wheelchair, they immediately either open up another till, or direct you to go to the front of the queue, where you get priority service. And whilst I saw... This happens in Germany as well. Um... And whilst I sort of appreciate the kindness, I feel a bit embarrassed because all those people are standing in a queue and I'm sitting. It's not good at any skin off my nose to carry on sitting there. But never mind. John thinks I'm silly to be embarrassed by it because he's quite pleased because of course he's standing and queuing and being such an old fart now. Oops, he won't be very pleased to hear me say that. Um, but anyway... So my tripod was about to collapse. Just let me make sure, yes, okay. So, um, anyway. Have you ever wondered how 
silly some people's ideas are. Um, when we were Jehovah's Witness, um, there wasn't a place called Heaven that we went to. Um, and all dead people remained dead until the final trumpet sounded. And then we'd all raise up from the dead. Um, and miraculously have our bodies back. And which is why they don't believe in cremation, I might add. And I think it's also the reason why the Catholics don't. Although they never taught me this particular thing about... Well, can you imagine, particularly if you're in a mass grave... All these people, excuse me, that's my leg. Oi, no, that's my arm, give us it back. How twatty. So anyway, that's supposed to be what happens, and we live forever on this planet in peace and harmony, and being able to cuddle lions and be friendly to snakes. Ooh, I do not want any snakes in the afterlife, thank you very much, and I think I could do well without poisonous spiders and bacteria and viry. God obviously created those to bugger us up. I don't suppose they never, they never think about that. Anyway, and the other thing they don't realise is the sun's going to burn out. We can't live on this planet forever. And what about those poor souls that were cremated? And people say, well that's why you shouldn't be cremated. But hang on a second. All these religious nutters used to burn people alive. Given half the chance, they would again. You listen to the way the fundamentalists rattle on. I'd be the first for it. But, um, anyway, really quite a ridiculous belief. Not fought through. And, of course, this will include all the billions of people that never heard of Jesus and never had the opportunity to, because if you never heard of him, they automatically go to heaven anyway, because it ain't your fault. Fucking idiots. Bloody idiots, I mean. Anyway. Oh, dear. The things I think about. But I do, I give this sort of thing quite a lot of thought. I remember when I was a boy at school, Catholic then, and our teacher had a stillbirth, and so we held a special mass for the baby. And I'm sitting there thinking, excuse me, why are you doing this? Because this baby isn't going to go to heaven, because it died when it was not baptised. And we all know that babies who die when they're not baptised are completely stuffed. They'll never see heaven, so what the hell are you praying, it for, praying for it for? So I didn't really believe this, even at nine years old. I thought, this is wrong, this is stupid, what did a baby do? to incur God's wrath. I do, do you know, it really boggles my mind that people believe such balderdash. And they think that a man who dresses in a bloody long frock, frock, floak, frock is what I meant to say, a frock. I think I was trying to say cloak when I mean frock. All this pomp and circumstance around the bloody Pope and the Archbishop of Canterbury, all in total opposition to what Jesus taught. Do these people not fucking read? Oh dear, I've done it again, I've sworn. Well, sorry, but I swear. I can't pretend I don't. <laughs> Very common for us upper class folk to swear. You should hear my friend Judy, who really is upper class, I might add, almost aristocracy. Uh, very highly related to some very posh people and she speaks very posh and she swears and it's really quite lovely when she does because it's just like the Queen saying fuck it just makes one laugh <laughs> makes me laugh because I've never really grown up anyway and I do like that and I do like people who get indignant about it because they're so funny I think so if these same people don't get indignant about child rape and murder or gays being pushed off cliffs in Iran, or having their heads chopped off in Saudi Arabia. Yes, don't get indignant about those, because after all we deserve it, don't we? But me say fuck, oh yes, get indignant about that, that's a terrible blight on the planet. Anyway, my ten minutes is nearly up, I can't be bothered editing this from ten, 20, over ten minutes, so I'm going.
Bye.